Let's talk about the different blade sides. You got the smaller ones for your smaller sausage. If you're going to be breaking down to coarser grind, you want to start with a larger size. Your blades come in two different types. Know your machine. You have this one. And there's also this type. They come numbered for number 12 machine. A piece of uh, or a shortcut for you. It's an on and off switch that you use with your foot. When working the grinder, you have to turn it on and off several times and your hands are full of meat and you're touching the machine, it can become nasty. You don't want to do that. So here's a foot pedal. If you put the plugging machine into here, Every time you hit the foot pedal, it turns the machine on and off. Okay, we're gonna do, our next one's gonna be catfish sausage. I know it sounds crazy, but it's delicious. We're gonna use uh, three pounds of filet, at, or three pounds of the catfish nuggets, and two, two and a half pounds of the filet. Let's get started. Okay, now you just wanna grind the uh, catfish through the grinder, just like you do your pork butts. Stop right there. We'll uh, come back after we finish the process. Okay, there's our five pounds completed. We'll go ahead to the Okay, here's the ingredients we're going to need for this uh, catfish sausage uh, links. You can make them also in patties if you want, but we're going to link them. Uh, we have five pounds of uncooked catfish. We have two tablespoons of salt, a uh, 13 ounce package of croutons, just basically a stuffing mix, three eggs beaten. One quarter cup of fresh parsley, a uh, quarter cup of green onions, just the tops diced, a teaspoon of coarse ground pepper, one teaspoon of dried whole dill weed. And we have a half a cup of ice cold milk in the freezer, and we're gonna we added in a uh, half cup of non-dairy milk. We're gonna mix all that together. And get ready to step. Hey YouTube, this here is our food processor. It's a Kenmore. Works really good. Um, on the fish recipe, I did find that I didn't like the consistency of the full kernels of the um, stuffing mix. So my suggestion, if you have one of these, is to take it, put all your seasoning and all your uh, stuffing mix inside of here, not the fish, just the, uh, the seasoning, the stuffing mix, and grind it down to a, uh, a breadcrumb consistency. And when you mix it in, I think, personally, it would be a better... Uh, fish 